What's up? It's Chris Young here with Chandler Johns from Happier Camper. Chandler, thank you for joining us at the Ultimate RV Expo. But but tell me, before we get rolling into this beautiful unit, what is Happier Camper? Happier Camper, I'm really glad you asked, is a travel trailer manufacturer headquartered in Los Angeles. Okay. You'll notice as we walk through this HC1 that it really is something special. What sets it apart is the retro modern design, totally modular interior, and distinctive rear hatch. I'm excited to show you around. What, how did Happier Camper come about? So it was just, you saw a spot in the market for people who wanted to be able, if I want a bed, if I want a dinette, if I want bunks, if I want whatever, to be able to change that? Or how did the idea come about? Exactly. So our founder, Derek May, started out as a vintage trailer restorer. Oh, cool. So he found beautiful fiberglass trailers, was restoring them and renting them out on the weekends. What he noticed is that people didn't really spend a lot of time cooking inside the camper. Right. You know, the kitchenette became where they stored their luggage. So why have so much space dedicated yes. to just one thing that you're not going to be using the full time? Right. And that helped him innovate the adaptive modular interior. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the adaptive modular interior here in a second because when, when, when it finally clicks and the light bulb goes off, your hands are going to go up and you're going to be like, okay, I get it. I love it. I absolutely love it. But before we do that, let's talk about the construction and the quality of Happier Camper. The one thing I noticed is you have the two shells, the, the kind of tub on tub system. Exactly. But, but tell me, how is Happier Camper made? The Happier Camper shell, it's a dual hole fiberglass shell. Okay. So as you mentioned, we've got an exterior layer and an interior layer. And we do that because this seam in the center gives you so much durability. Yeah. And fiberglass itself as a material is gonna last ages. The thing I really like, and if you notice, Kev, with both the top and the sides, there's one weld point. With most traditional RVs, you got four walls and you get seams along the sides and tops, which can lead to moisture leaking in. I mean, obviously with RVs, that's that might happen, but less chance of that happening with this type of kind of seal because you got exactly. the cover going over the side as well from the top to the bottom. And then we get those, you know, these stylistic choices. We've got these curves. It embraces that retro fiberglass trailer culture, yes. but it also has a lot of utility. So we've purposefully designed this curvy exterior to accommodate a little bit more space inside. I'd love to give you a look so you can see just how spacious oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so tell me, because the HC1, how long is it? How much does it weigh? The HC1 is a very usable size. It's about 13 feet long okay. on the exterior, and it has a dry weight of 1,100 pounds. Wow. That means most four-cylinder cars can handle towing this trailer. Absolutely. I mean, we could probably pick it up and push it if we needed to. I've definitely done that myself. You know, sometimes when you're trying to back up, it gets a little tricky. Just unhitch it and push it back into place. Wow. 1,100 pounds for an RV is ridiculous. That That's beautifully lightweight. And I like, too, how you have the tongue up here, which if you want to put this in the garage, talk about being able to have that adaptive style, being able to easily put this in the garage because the tongue folds over and gets out the way. So if you don't have a large spot, if you want to go dry docking or if you do want to put it in the garage, you got the space to do that because short and lightweight, but still plenty of room on the inside. Exactly. You gotta so get the best of both worlds. The, for the HC1, you really have the option to store it in your own garage or this is definitely something the neighbors won't complain about seeing in your side yard. No, I, I, I love the rustic modern design. Now, before we go on the inside, tell me a little bit because I know it's set up for dry docking, but it's also set up for convenience because we got a 30 amp plug here and then we also got some other off camp side connections. That's right. So the HC1 is built for you to be able to plug into an RV site if you're, if you're going to be camping at a site. Otherwise, you can totally boondock if you have solar panels or in, the, in this case, you can have an exterior sol external solar panel. Oh, wow. So that's a solar hookup, correct. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we also have plumbing. So if you opt to have the kitchenette, and again, you don't have to have any one configuration. The HC1 can adapt to your needs and you can change up the interior on the fly. But if you do have the kitchenette, you can uh, use these city water hookups. So we've got gray and fresh water for you. Nice. Well, it's a little dark over here on this side. So let's go take a look at the other side let's before go. we hop in. Look at how just cool and modern that is. Now tell me about the latches that we have right there. 
This is a really beautiful custom feature that it's these design touches that are so important to us. Not only are they built to last very high quality materials, it has the cute little branding of Capier Camper. I like so that. So those little touches are through very thoughtful design, a very thoughtful design process. Absolutely, and they're super rugged with the six anchor points. I'm a, I'm a big Indeed. fan of that because that just gives you more sturdiness and it's fiberglass all the way around. I see we got the tinted sealed safety windows there too. We sure do, and all four windows on the trailer are operable. So you get this oh. panoramic view of your of your campsite or your wherever you are. And the, and the cross flow of air too, yes. so, so they all open up. Okay, beautiful. Now, I gotta ask about the tire because I'm standing on the side and it kind of reminds me of a cool Studebaker that I tried to buy when <laughs> I was 16. Right. But, but tell, tell me about the tire. So these 13 inch radial tires are pretty rugged, but we have this adorable moon cap that celebrates that retro design. I love it. And you also, I, I noticed the fiberglass also extends into the well too for, I guess, additional stability, but also additional security underneath for when you're going down the road, you don't get the rocks and things knocking up under the RV. Absolutely. Absolutely. With the 2022 HC1, we have done several design innovations and improvements, including a redesigned interior wheel well, elongated rear hatch, and several other features that are going to help this camper last for generations. I like the fact that this is a generational camper. I mean, if it's if, if you want to pass it on to the kids because it is fiberglass, which means you got great insulation, great durability, you don't have to worry about buying an RV and upgrading an RV. You got the adaptive system which we're going to show you here in a minute. I've been holding off because, because there's so much to get to, but the kids can use it, the grandkids can use it, and it's it's going to last forever. We um, always say that you never really own an HC1. You just take care of it for the next generation. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love how, too, how you got the wood inlay here in my step. So, all right, enough of the, ins the outside. Let's take a look at the inside of this beauty. Okay, Chandler, here we are inside the Happier Camper HC1 right away. First off, being 6'2", I'm not too cramped in here. So I got plenty of room. I love the adaptive flow that's like we talked about outside, generational, but also could change. Tell me a little bit about how the system works. Absolutely. So what we've done for these Camping World HC1s, we've curated a, pa a, curated a package on what we think people will enjoy the most. Right. So we've got six cubes and three tabletops. You're sitting on two of the cubes and a tabletop. Yep. If we brought those over here, we'd be able to configure a queen size bed. So oh, wow. you feel pretty comfortable in here, right? Being yeah, so absolutely. tall. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love how not only do the cushions form to the top of the cubes, but I got storage in every cube and they're pretty lightweight. They're super light. So roto-molded plastic is one of the lightest but most durable and affordable materials, building right. materials. I also like how you have the grid system here inside on the floor. Now, I took up a couple of the panels uh, and they just go right over top. So if I wanted to clean this out, I could just take the tiles up and spray this down. There's a drain right underneath where you're sitting, oh. so you can just hose out everything. We know that after, if you bring in the dogs and the kids, sure. the camper's going to get real dirty at the end of the trip. Right. Well, I, I thought what was the coolest thing about it was if you took all the pods out, this is a toy hauler too. Right so if on. I want to bring my motorcycle in, my bikes, my kayaks, you know, whatever, I could fit that stuff in here and I got tie downs. Uh, how many tie downs do I have? That's right. You've got six D-ring tie downs. So oh, wow. if you just put a ramp at the back of the rear hatch, you'd be able to roll in a motorcycle or any of your other toys and secure it in place to get to where you're trying to go. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So tell me about some of the different modules that I could put in here because I, I do. I, I love this. Super lightweight. This just comes right up off the grid. Put it back in place. I see I got USB ports. I got... 12 volt ports, I got 110, I got windows with privacy, I got a little remote control for my lights in here. This, exactly. is, this is really cool. But yeah, tell me about some of these pods. So we, we've tried to include a lot of that utility while still having thoughtful design touches in the HC1. Okay. We know that not everyone's going to have the same needs and not every adventure is going to require the same layout. So right. the modular floor system works a lot like Legos. You're able to just rest the different adaptive components right into place. So okay. the kitchenette, you know, doesn't have to go here. I actually really like to use it at the rear. We cook outside most of the time, yes. but I love having the sink go in and you can use the 12 volt plug to activate the pump from right. the rear 
as well. Oh, you got a cutting board in here. You got the, the glass cover. I like my burner cooktop there, my access. There's also a five gallon fresh water tank inside the kitchenette. So oh, wow. if you want it, and we provide you with a gray water bladder that you can hook up to the outside so you can be totally self-sufficient if you're boondocking. Nice. I'd like how you got the little refrigerator drawer attached to this as well. And the refrigerator is, it's small but mighty. Let me tell you, you're able to, if you're really good at Tetris, you can fit quite a lot in there. Right. And that fridge, you can use either battery or AC power. So you can boondock with that fridge as well. Wow. Tell me about some of the other storage options. Because obviously each one of the cubes is its own storage compartment. That's but right. But tell me a little bit about what we have here. Because these, uh, I saw the magnets. Oh, those are, those are sturdy. Those, we, we have those magnets to help keep these upper storage compartments closed while you're in transit. And we just want there to be a lot of utility in the way that you can use our adaptive cubes. So the cubes, as you mentioned, are storage. You can stack the cubes on top of one another. Uh, the, ex, the upper compartments provide a lot of storage. We've done a custom design underneath this table. So when you have the table set up in the bed configuration, you could store the legs with Velcro straps underneath. Nice. And we do have, there are other accessories and components that people might be interested in adding later on. Okay. So there's a pantry option. You've got lots of adaptive components that you can purchase aftermarket and sure. include it in your build anytime you want. That's the beauty of adaptive. Can I do bunks? And we have bunk beds. So the HC1 can accommodate up to five people sleeping. So with the bunk bed up there in the front, Chris, it'd be right behind you. Yeah. You would be able to have two people sleeping and then we have uh, a different bed configuration sure. that could accommodate a few more people. And the nice thing about the bunk, Chris, is that it folds down to a couch back. So if the kids aren't with you or if it's during the day and you want a little bit more space to relax inside the camper, you can just fold that back and rest on it. So I can get an air conditioner. I can get, uh, there's there's also, you said the kitchenette, but there's also a bathroom addition as well? That's right. So Camping World is able to install aftermarket accessories, uh, including solar panels, wow. air conditioners, both air conditioners that work uh, with AC power plugins or completely off-grid with an additional battery installation. You'll also be able to add, we do have toilet options, so you can be totally self-sufficient and off the grid for as long as you'd like. I love it. I got to tell you, just the fact that I now have the option to change the floor plan to fit the needs of what I'm doing. If I'm the active couple and I want to go hiking, biking, hunting, fishing, doing whatever, I can do it here. If I want to bring the kids, I got the bunks. Uh, and let's show how easy it is to kind of set the bed down and then let's talk about the door. What let's do you say? Let's do it. Okay, Chandler, we got the table off. Tell me about these legs. How do they stay secure? Chris, the beauty of adaptive is that there are no fasteners, locks, glues. Everything just rests right into place. Okay. So these table legs are super easy. We popped that table off really easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you noticed on the bottom, uh, there's nothing that you need to lock into place. Just no. snap it right on. The table legs just quickly unscrew and then can be stored on the side. Oh wow, okay. Before you slide the tabletop into place to make a bed configuration. Nice. And then that just rests on, right top, on top of the little groove right here. And then you got these, these are high density foam yes. cushions. Memory foam, super comfortable. You might want to add, we do offer a mattress topper that rolls up and is a backrest during the day. Oh nice. And used as the mattress topper at night. We can do that in a full or a queen size bed, depending on what your needs are. And it's just a very comfortable. I like how you had the other uh, spot there. So if I wanted to extend the table, uh, maybe add like a little cocktail table. I had that option to do that here. That's right. Just so many options, form and function. Y you guys have covered all the bases. Last but not least, tell me about this door because I see ultimate tailgating spot right here because you said I could set an outside That's shower right. right here. Is that right? Yes. So you could do an exterior shower or a bike rack on this rear hitch receiver. Okay. It's right or my cooktop. Right, but as you as we mentioned before, you might want to bring this, especially if you're doing tailgating. Yes. You're going to want that sink available, but this distinctive rear hatch allows you to enjoy your campsite a little bit more than if you were just cooped up indoors all day. I like how you got the shades too, so if I want sun, if I want wind, if I want privacy, I got that option. And I got the leather strap for the strut supported door right here. Beautiful, absolutely 
you will be a happier camper if you end up getting this HC1. That's right, Chris. Chandler, thank you so much. I gotta tell you, if you've been looking to stop the what if when it came to your floor plan or, or, or to your camper, you gotta take a look at the Happier Camper HC1. You want bunks, you want the queen size bed, you want a dinette, you don't want the dinette. You don't want the bunks, you don't want the queen size bed. You now have the power to pick the type and style of RV that you want all right in here with lightweight pods that are adaptive for not only the camper but for your lifestyle. And the best part, we'll even deliver this thing to you. Come visit any Camping World location or go to CampingWorld.com to get your happier camper and make you a happier camper today.